what's up guys today we're going to be doing this sky replacement effect with thunder and lightning scene so for this effect you want a shot with a nice clear sky and also a video clip of a thunder and lightning scene i found this one on youtube for free so i'll leave the link to it down below and the first thing i'm going to do is get rid of the sky and create the thunder and lightning scene so i'm going to select my video clip and go to the effects tab and go to keying and then use the keyer effect and then i'm going to select sample color and just select the sky as much of it as i can every video clip will be different but the settings that i usually change on the keyer effect is the shrink and expand i normally put that to minus 0.5 even up to two sometimes and then the fill holes, I usually put that up just to fill some of the gaps that the Kia takes away. So now I'm going to grab my lightning and thunder scene and drag that underneath my video clip. And I'm going to move that up so that the bottom of it is where the sky starts on my video clip. There's some parts on the lightning and thunder video that are just completely black and not much is going on. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste uh, the lightning and thunder video and use another section of the video to double up the lightning and thunder effect. But I need to make sure that the video clip is set to add on the blend mode so that the lightning and thunder will show on both videos instead of just on one layer. So now there's just a lot more going on in the video clip. Okay, so the next step is to make the video clip look like nighttime. Final Cut Pro has a really useful effect called day to night, called day into night, that really quickly just changes a scene into a night scene. So if I go over to the parameters on this effect, you can see the amount. And if I turn it up, it just turns the shot into like a night scene. I'll leave the link to it down below if you don't have it. And I'm going to set this to around uh, 80 to 90 on the amount. The next step is to create sort of a light effect using the lightning and thunder video. Copy and paste the lightning and thunder videos and add them on top of the video clip. So I'm just going to reset the position on these so that they fill the whole screen. And then I'm going to add a blur effect. So Gaussian blur, I'm going to add that to both of them. And on the blur, what I'm going to do is turn the amount up to 100. And then the blur boost, I'm going to turn up to around six. So these just act as like a light flicker from the lightning. And you want to make sure the blend mode is set to add. Okay, so now that the sky replacement is done, if you want to fade it from daylight to nighttime thunder effect, then the first thing you need to do is keyframe the day into night amount or the color grade that you've done. Hit the keyframe button on day into night, go back a few frames and then turn it down to zero. And then what I'm going to do is copy and paste the video clip. Put the video clip on top and get rid of the keyer effect. And then where the keyframes for the day into night effect, what I'm going to do is go to the opacity. So I'm gonna start at 100 on the opacity, hit the keyframe button, move forward to where the day into night amount is at the highest, and then just turn the opacity down. And now you have the day into night effect I also added some shake and glow effects to my final product, which I'll leave a link down below. But that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.